I'm just saying, if they made a Wonder Twins and <laughs> crypto on the show, I would go to Vancouver and I would pick it my ass off until I get a spinoff of them to uh, all three of them nice. on their own show. Nice. The hero. Hey, nice Right, everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ here with my bros, Jeremy and Bears. Hola! What's good? Bring you another weekly recap of The Flash. This week's episode was called Paradox. Roll the clip. Barry runs to Star City and tells Felicity about his decision to save his mom and how it changed the timeline. He explains that everyone has been acting different ever since he returned and doesn't know why. Barry finds out that in this timeline, Joe never told Iris about her mother, which explains the distance between them. Back at the CCPD, Barry meets with Julian Albert, a fellow forensic scientist who he has apparently been working with for a while. Barry finds Cisco at a support group and learns that his brother Dante died, which is why Cisco has been acting cold. Barry panics when he sees that everyone's lives have been altered after seeing a picture of John and his son Diggle Jr. Edward Claris continues to have strange visions and is brought to Dr. Alchemy, who promises to give him back his speed. Barry, Joe, and Julian investigate a crime scene involving husks, where a small rivalry is shown between them. Back at the lab, Barry asks Caitlin for help in getting everyone together so that they can all work things out once and for all. He ends up tricking everyone into having dinner at the West household. He suggests that they do something together as a team. They're interrupted after an alert goes off from the MetaHuman app. Barry confronts Edward Claris at the boardwalk, who tells him that he remembers the alternate timeline. They race and fight throughout the city, but Barry gaining the upper hand. Edward escapes, and Barry returns back to Star Labs. He decides that he needs to change the timeline again, but is stopped by Jay Garrick while running in the Speed Force. He tells Barry that Harry told him everything. He says that he made the same mistakes Barry made, and is trying to help him move forward. Barry returns and tells everyone about Flashpoint. The news upsets Cisco, who wishes Barry would go back to save his brother. Barry asks Julian for help so that he can find Claris. He traces him back to the Prescott Sawmill, where he is ambushed by Edward and Dr. Alchemy. Back at Star Labs, Iris tries to get everyone to forgive Barry for his mistakes. Edward removes Barry's comlinks, making it hard for the team to contact him. Edward gains the upper hand and nearly kills Barry, but Cisco arrives to save him. They team up and defeat Edward. At Star Labs, the team tries to figure out who Dr. Alchemy is and how he got his powers. Once everyone leaves, Caitlin displays metahuman abilities similar to Killer Frost. Back at the CCPD, Julian confronts Barry for stealing a sample from the crime scene and suspects him of hiding something. Barry finally returns to the West household where he and Iris kiss. At Iron Heights, Dr. Alchemy attacks Edward and abducts him. Why are Jesse and Henry coming back? Will Wally be jealous that she's a speedster and he's not? Will we see more Jay Garrick? What does Dr. Alchemy have planned for Edward Claris? Was that a dinosaur we saw? Will Caitlin become a superhero version of Killer Frost? Will Cisco get a suit? Will Barry stop effing up the timeline? Will Magenta be any good? Will Grot appear? Find out on the next episode of The Flash. Okay, so one sentence, as always. Well, I figure I just need to clap awkwardly now, so... Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One sentence. You done good, Barry? Yeah, he did. I don't think I could think of anything else better than that. That's that is the sentence that is true. that describes this whole entire thing. So right into character interactions, I just spit on my mic. Barry confides <laughs> Basically. Who does Barry confide in after like all this stuff happened? Were you expecting that? Deep. Yes. No. <gasps> that is crazy that he went to her. To Star City. Yeah. Oh, um, people. Why her? Yes. I, that is I true. don't know. You know, I, for some reason, like Jeremy and I were talking about earlier, and what he was saying is that you like her being on the show. Oh, yeah. I kind of like her being on the show. Well, obviously, because things are changed. Mm -hmm. He changed the timeline. I don't know if it changed how she acted, but. Yeah. I wonder what changed with her because apparently everybody has changed. Yeah, it's cause sort of flip flop. Yeah, it's like everyone this episode is a bitch to him for reasons. Yeah, but and she's just the one that's like, oh, you're. What, what does she, she call him? She says that she's something. Oh, pudding. Some, uh, pudding. Like pudding. Yeah. Everybody loves pudding. Oh, yeah. Uh, pudding. And yeah, he tells her about the whole timeline changing, and then he <laughs> looks at a picture online of Diggle and his son Diggle Junior. Yeah. And we saw him last on Legends All Grown Up as Connor Hawk. Mm. So that's pretty Whoa. interesting how he was there. So I guess Baby Sarah doesn't exist here. Uh, I, guess I like Baby Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. I guess not. Is he still with Lila? Because that baby's pretty dark. I'm not being racist. I'm just saying. I mean, the kid could have gotten the genes from the potter. Yeah, that's true. So what we know is Barry is in a timeline that was altered in those months that he's been gone. But that doesn't see that's what I don't get. 
if everything up until Zoom uh, happened, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, like every, all that did occur, yeah, and it's still intact. Why is it that Diggle has a son now? I think it's a butterfly effect, you know? It's it's not, like, necessarily because somebody else messed with it. Yeah. But it's because there is very minute details that are changed. So because one little thing changed, we don't get cute baby Sarah. We have young little Diggle Jr. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's like Ripple. It's like... Um, <laughs> and he doesn't know what to do because if he keeps going back in time, he's just going to mess things up. Yeah. So I don't get the logic he has in the middle of the episode to go back and change it again. Well, you know, I guess he just needed to hear it from somebody who looked like his dad. Yes. Okay. We go into that That's interaction. True. But before we do, we'll just go over Team Flash real quick. They do not. Uh, there, There's like a certain coldness there. It was really weird. Yeah. <laughs> like seeing uh, something I, frosty. <laughs> I didn't realize that it said <laughs> something very funny. Something killer. <laughs> and uh, it was just felt weird. Like everybody's yeah. so distant. And he worked so hard to try to get everybody together by tricking them and trying to mend whatever was broken there. And Cisco went off on him at that dinner table. Yeah. Uh, and then later, too. But then it, we fast forward to that part where we said he tried to change his timeline again. And then who stops him? Jay Garrick. It's the real Jay Garrick. Yeah. That was awesome. There were a couple of Easter eggs in that part, but we'll save that for that part in the talk. Mm, okay. How did you like that interaction between Jay and, and Barry? Now that he's up to speed of <laughs> what's actually going on, like he <laughs> actually took it. Now that he, he knows about Barry's like history. Yeah. And because Harry told him, I guess they had a lot of time to talk on their trip back to Earth 3. Yeah, how did you feel about that whole interaction? Hmm. It was kind of heartwarming. Yeah. I liked it. I like seeing Jay Garrick. Jay, yeah. Jay Garrick and yeah. all of his glory. He's he's basically Henry with powers. Mm-hmm. He is Henry with powers. Yeah. He's got more of a sense of everything that Barry does. Yeah. Nice. That's crazy. It's Very like nice. it's like he has his dad there, and then somebody that understands his abilities. Mm-hmm. I love how he like brought him down to earth. He's just like, "We're not gods, Barry. We're men. We're blessed with a gift." And I was like, "Oh, that's so epic!" The way he said that, and he's like, "Yeah, I take it upon myself to basically watch you mess up." He's just bird up. watching, yeah, or he's Barry watching, yeah, <laughs> basically <laughs> he's through on the, the, speed, the force? speed force, yeah. yeah, waiting for Barry to make another mistake. I wonder if he was like sitting in there. Just watching Barry do all this stupid stuff, and then like, finally he just had, you know, his last straw and decided to pull him out. No, there. it seems like everybody who's touched with the Speed Force knows. Yeah. Oh, uh, they just sent something. <laughs> well, yeah, because you got what's his face, Triggered. Claris, mm. who was able to like see mm. a different light. That is true. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. Thanks to Doctor. I don't Alcom. know why Wally West couldn't or couldn't do it though. Yeah, maybe he's not in touch with it yet, like as much as I mean, he is Kid Flash after all. He's not in tune with it, I guess, with everybody else. Barry's had the ability. Uh, Rival is uh, pretty powerful on his own. So, uh, and then he had a little help from Doctor Alchemy to get all that stuff back. That was interesting. I didn't think they would be able to tie in the two. You know what I'm saying? Like that alternate timeline Rival, and then the current timeline yeah i thought they'd be separate but yeah but he's it, like i remember you yeah it's pretty cool that was awesome i like that that entire like the banter between the two um i just find it very corny when he says i'm the rival and stuff like that like how he tries to fit it in there mm. i mean mm. at least they fit it in there yeah i know while all this is happening uh the team kind of just i guess they do end up getting back together to help barry face off against everyone except cisco he's he was pretty pissed yeah. Still. Because Dante did. That's sad. Yeah, that is very sad. Killed by drunk drive. Yeah. I mean, I gotta ask your opi- opinions about this. Cisco had a right to be mad, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. He had a brother totally. who died. I don't know where I was gonna go with this. Question. <laughs> <laughs> um, very nice. See, that's like the tough choice. I guess I want to talk about it. It's a tough choice to make when you have the ability to do something like that to change time. Yeah. But you can't because you've done it so many times and you've seen all the bad out. Everything's pretty much turned out bad. Yeah. And then somebody asks you to do this one thing, which is to save his brother, but you can't. And like, I know Barry didn't want to sound selfish because, you know, I mean, he did do it selfishly the first time around. Yeah. But he had a point not doing it again because then who knows? Joe might have been dead. 
or Cisco might have been dead. Yeah. Instead of his brother. That is a heavy burden, man. That's the sucks. universe is duality. It will give, but it will also take. Oh. That's crazy. That's deep. Yes. And true. Yeah, I think we talked about the weird, like, bromance, Dr. Alchemy and Rival. Yeah, Edward Claris had, right? Mm hmm. So, did we forget anything else? Everybody kind of patched things up towards the end there. Yeah. Uh, Cisco used. Oh, his... we, we got to talk oh, about that. Yeah. I thought, okay. I thought, I thought you were done. Yeah. What else? Am I missing anything else as far as character interaction? Oh, okay, Julian so. Dorn. Oh. Or Julian Albert. Yes. Uh, Draco Malfoy was pretty. How did you guys like him? Dude looks grizzled these days. Like, he's <laughs> seen some hard times <laughs> getting to where he's been. Like, he got he's it. looking rough. I guess we know where he went after he got his ass kicked in uh, that last Harry Potter movie. Just so went and moved to Central City. Yeah, snorting some muggle dust. <laughs> Dude looks rough. <laughs> uh, how, <laughs> how'd you guys like him? You great? Uh, I never really was into the Harry Potter one or books or movies or anything. Yeah, so yeah. I, I didn't really see him too much on there. Mm -hmm. But on this, as like this character, yeah. kind of interesting. I like how he. Uh, doesn't like Barry. I like yeah. I it like how he's adds smug to that story. Yeah, I like how he's smug. Yeah, to him. He's he says that he doesn't trust Barry, but I don't trust him. Yeah, he's like there's something like, not right about you, Alan. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like he's got something under his sleeve. Yes. Uh, well, we already I guess. Oh no, we could talk about that later. I guess. Um, but yeah, he he offers that interesting dynamic. Like he's the person that wasn't somebody we knew like as an audience perspective yes but he's always been there apparently in that time and place so mm -hmm. it's kind of crazy plays into a bigger story if you think more about it um so now they changed everything it's like it just made it so subtle the way they changed the universe like that yeah the sun supergirl now exists yeah am i missing anything else before we move forward while he was there yeah that's all i could say about him he, he was there caitlin uh, Oh yeah, she was, she, well. she was the only one that was kind of like. Well, well, I'm saying like we're, we're, we'll talk about those things. Is after. that action? Yes, because <laughs> anything that has to do with the awesomeness. Okay. Yes, Barry thought that she was untouched by the whole thing. On the sorta. surface, she was calm and ready, mom spaghetti. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll elaborate more in the action slash favorite scene. So go ahead, everybody, just throw them out there. Team up. Uh, Cisco and Flash. That was awesome. Insane. I also love when Barry bodied that dude and he flew like the whole entire city. Oh, the first encounter? Yeah. yeah. He could kick ass now. Yeah. It's crazy. I like the parent trap scene. <laughs> he was like zipping back and forth between Joe and Iris. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like, that was awesome. Like, what do you want? Uh, Mama has spaghetti. Or something like that. Or her noodles. noodles. Yeah. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. No. Oh, the, the other part with Caitlyn. She apparently has powers. She's moonlighting as... Who could she be? I'm trying to think. If she's... I don't think she would take up the name as Killer Frost if she were to have these abilities. The Ice Queen. Oh, oh. oh, that's crazy. Elsa? Yeah. Oh, no. You guys ready to sing with me? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Like, I like how they kind of just tease that at the end. Well, the way mm. her power works, right? She needed to leech heat, right? Yes. yes. Needed to leech energy or something. That's why she was with Firestorm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's he doing? So that? that's going to be an interesting development. Yeah. That'll be crazy. That's this is crazy. I, I love it. Like there's more action in this one for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, that first part of Flashpoint. Well, in Flashpoint, it was more like dramatic and him understanding the consequences, and then here was him facing them. I also love Doctor Alchemy's duel with him. Uh, and the fight scene between the three. That was pretty sick. He used the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah. On him. I think that was an Easter egg. I, 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 I That's fine. It up. Well, fuck, freaking hot Harry Potter references all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What other favorite parts? I, I think the parts with Jay Garrick were awesome. Mm. Uh, Jay Garrick's always um, or Harry or however you want to call it. Yeah. I didn't find one thing uh, about this episode that bothered me. Yeah. Except Iris. Iris started to go Iro for a little bit, just for like a tad bit in the episode. She was okay. Yeah, that, that, there we go. Yeah, you found it. Okay, so that was the one part that bothered me. 
Yeah. So the whole the episode, she's like, "Yeah, I can't, I can't do it. You're freaking, I don't trust your dad. You don't <laughs> tell me if mom's alive." Uh, <laughs> like, and then all of a sudden, Barry's like, "Guys, I done goof. I changed everything. I can't change it again because reasons. I got to go do stuff. I yeah." And then she all of a sudden she's like, "Barry's right. We need to love each other. <laughs> Hold me, father." <laughs> what the hell, woman? <laughs> like, there is nothing that I could have seen happen between those two points that just all of a sudden changed her perspective that drastically. Yeah, someone just turned on her light switch. I think that's how she works, honestly. <laughs> she bipolar? So gave her mustard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. We were waiting for that reference for a bit now, and it came throughout Forgot this one. Forgot the ketchup. Gave her well, the she was doing... Yeah. Yes. Well, she's doing good all last season, and then we get this season where she's gonna start like this. Hold on, yeah, Slow your roll. Yeah, we got Iro, mustard, and ketchup. I love it. Uh, all we needed was it's back. Day. But maybe we could do. I was about to talk about him. We could do Julian, jo- or Al- Julian. Albat. <laughs> Albat. 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 I th- in anything else though. I thought other than that, the episode was great. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, good. Easter eggs. Yeah. Uh, Dawson's Creek. There he yes. Do, 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 do. Apparently. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we just lost our man cards. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Says you. Everybody watch that show. Apparently, we Jay Garrick was his dad. Yeah, Jay yeah. Garrick was. I didn't uh, know that. Dawson's Creek. Uh, he was the father of James Vanderbeek's character on Dawson's Creek, um, and he was also oh. killed on that show. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was died. buying an ice cream. He, and died, he yeah. got hit by a car. He died and he came back as Jay Garrick. Dude, what a way to come back! He's like Barry, you done messed up. <laughs> you done goofed. I was on this TV show. Now I'm on the Flash. <laughs> Mordecai Diner. I don't know if that's like big. I don't have you ent- have the okay. Have they ever mentioned? Uh, Central City University at all? Like throughout know. the course of the show? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going to say that uh, Wally goes there. The Prescott Sawmill. The reason I put that as an Easter egg is because it kind of was like a... It's Flashpoint. Like yeah. Spot, isn't it? Yes. Yes. That, that's, I couldn't think of a word. Point of like interest. That's the one. Yeah. And then the Philosopher's Stone. The thing that Dr. Alchemy used to crap on Barry. In this, in the DC TV mythos, it was found by Doctor Alchemy, and he uses it to manipulate bunches of bunches of that he uses it to manipulate matter. Bunches of oats, <laughs> <laughs> honey. At that, <laughs> yeah, he he uses it for like a bunch of stuff. Ah. um, and then he usually attaches it to a wand, so it's kind of interesting to see him use it as like just hold the stone. Yeah, he looked like Harry Potter. He might still time. Yeah, but that was awesome. The, the, the whole scene was... Is sick. that how he's able to uh, talk to Claire's? Yes, because he's actually uh, supernatural. He's not like a meta huh. alchemy. So this is like going into... You know how Arrow kind of went into supernatural? Uh, yeah. Um, this is it where... took it over? Yeah, Flash is, Flash is kind of sort of going into mm-hmm. magical stuff. Um, now. I do eventually. Yeah. Anything else? Anybody can pick up? No? No. Big question. Drum roll, please. Did you get a preview of Bears? <laughs> drum roll, drum roll. Build it up. No. Uh, I'm kidding, I did. Oh, yay! <laughs> Put the coffee <laughs> noises in! Uh, it was all about Jesse Quick. Yes. yes. More. Explain. More. That's it. He shows up through the portal that they made to get to universe, the golden universe or whatever it is. Yes. And then she just shows up. She's a speedster now. Yay! I don't know how or why. It must be because timeline changes and because reasons. But yeah, she's a speedster now. There's some new telepathy throwing stuff around. Yes, that's pretty much the gist of it. The the person with telepathy was Magenta. She has a uh, uh, she can manipulate metals. Mm. And then I'm pretty sure, like Jeremy and I had a WTF moment there when watching that thing. And I'm pretty sure I saw a dinosaur there. Yeah, was it a dinosaur? Or it like looked a, like a freaking T Rex with something on its head. Oh, cool! I don't know. It's 
this show just like if it does that, I'm okay with it. But a dinosaur, maybe oh, the... a dinosaur weapons where we cross the line. I mean, we got a talking gorilla in a horse. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Where... So maybe Grodd is riding that dinosaur. Oh, maybe that's what we saw on top. Maybe of the, the runaway dinosaur came back to life. Oh, or came to life. I like that. I like that reference. Do you see anything else? No, not really. That's pretty much. I just, just it. want Eddie. 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 Yeah. Eddie. 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 What can you theorize? Like, or any ideas what you think is going to happen? Uh, at the end there, Claris was in Iron Heights, but he got taken out by Alchemy again. Yeah. So he's obviously going to be his little bitch boy throughout the series, I'm sure. Who do you think Dr. Alchemy is? I mean, we talked about it. We we obviously think it's Julian Dorn. Yeah. But Theory they can always below. just go hard left and then throw us off. Yeah. And it might be somebody way off from who we think it is. So who do you think it is, Barris? I'm going to say it's a character we haven't seen yet. Okay. Mm. Do you think he's trying to attack Barry directly? Or is he just crazy? He just I think Barry just happens to be in his way at this point. Mm. I like it. Okay. I like this idea. Because you're saying... Uh... This world Maybe still be prepared for the secret society of supervillains. We haven't played that one in a while. I know. I mean, they kind of built it up. Or we we're possibly going to see that on Legends, but they're called Legion of Doom. So. Oh, what? Like straight up Legion of Doom? Yes. Yeah. But it's with what? Um, Malcolm. Uh, oh, my God. That's like nostalgia right there. Yeah. Uh, Malcolm. I forgot the other <laughs> Reverse guy's name. Flash. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And uh, dark and yeah. Captain Cold, Captain Cold, yeah. Because they're the what do you call that? They're the series regulars in the Arrowverse, so they can appear on all shows. Yeah. Does that mean we're gonna see Super Friends? <laughs> <laughs> That'd God, be no awesome. Super Friends, please. I mean, at least not in that format. Do you know what Super Friends is? <laughs> Isn't that the animated, very old? That's so the Justice or the Legion, Legion of Doom is from. It's a yikes. Super Friends, is that the one with uh, Aquaman with the dolphins? The weird? Yep. Yes. Oh, okay. And you well, got the, the epic, like, the spin meme. out transitions. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. If that's the, the Wonder case, Twins. Oh my gosh. We see them. <laughs> Yo, if the Wonder Twins show up, that's it. Show made. We jumped the shark, folks. <laughs> yeah. I, this season is going to be freaking awesome. I hope like uh, Wally, we get to see him as a speedster like on that time. So this is the thing. Since Barry can't go back or he doesn't want to go back and correct things. Yeah. It's kind of awkward because we're kind of watching something new in a way. Like despite it being small changes, things are like, isn't that weird to think about? He's there and he's the only one with memories from different timelines. So, I don't know why uh, Cisco doesn't have any. Yeah, I don't know why either. Maybe he has a mental block. You know how he, he, he's he been like that with his powers? Like, it's because he never focused it. Mm -hmm. On yeah. this timeline, he's more like he's kind of overcome with the death of his brother. So I'm pretty sure he didn't really look into his just clouded with like hatred. But then the time uh, for him to use his abilities came. He went all out. He freaking whooped that dude's ass. That's true. So maybe it's just like a, a mental thing with him. Because it, it really is a mental thing to open up portals to other places. And hmm. even if Supergirl doesn't directly join, like, you know, still on that different world. Yeah. Even if she doesn't join the Arrowverse, like, directly, they still have ways to get to her. Which mm -hmm. is through Cisco or Barry. Hmm. So... The door's always... Oh, see, that's the beauty of his abilities. He just opens the doors to literally every possible thing you can imagine. Like, he is the gateway to the multiverse. Yes. That's freaking awesome. I, would, I think I would have Cisco's abilities if I couldn't have super speed. It's just there's more uses for it. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> Zoom will also eventually return as the bl uh, Black Flash. Whether that's this season, I'm not sure yet, but he will. He's nice. going to be playing a big part in uh, Zoom. Yes. What's nice. his name? Uh, Hunter. Yes. Remember, he Teddy turned Sears. into the, that black thingy at the very the season oh, yeah. finale. He turned into like a wraith or something. right? Yeah. He, yeah. he turned into the Black Flash, which is basically the, the Reaper of the Speed Force. Yeah. yeah. 
So <laughs> Barry better stop running back in time, you know, because it's basically that's his like speeding ticket. It's like those oh. things getting sent out. It's like, oh, yeah. there he is again. Yeah. Get him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> they need to play like the like those like corny ass like uh, what do you call that soundtracks that they had the Roadrunner running to every time Barry runs through the speed force. <laughs> Or like the the clown songs, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I really hope we see more Jay Garrick. I know he's said that he's there to watch over Barry and whatnot from wherever he's watching him from. But I'm psyched, and I can't wait to see what Julian does. And I can't wait to see what Doctor Alchemy does. Anything else? Any other theories? We already know that the Dominators are coming to do that four way crossover. We mentioned that so many times already. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> One more question. Do you think Cisco will get his suit? I think he's going to finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Almost there. Yeah. Gauntlets are all ready. The glasses are all set. All he needs now is a cool suit, which he makes himself. Yeah. Didn't he mention that he was making one in this episode? I think so. The well, that, that's argument? probably the uh, things he still has to do kind of thing. Oh, okay. What do you rate this episode? <laughs> Everybody's just like... <laughs> I'm going to rate this one a James Vanderbeek out of 10. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm going to give this a Super Friends team up out of 10. Nice. Nice. Why did two fires activate? <laughs> <laughs> this freaking one. <laughs> damn it. I don't know what to do. Remember twins and crypto? That's it. The oh, crypto, show that would be awesome. I give this 9.8 Philosopher's Stones out of 10. Any last thoughts? Wow. Wow. <laughs> you gave that 9.8 out of 10. That's yeah. first uh, under 10. Oh. In a while. Oh, yeah. Yesterday I gave like Supergirl like a 9.5. I mean, on this show. Oh, on this show. Yeah. And it can't be perfect all the time. Even yeah. though I would. Re- you know, I, I, I retract what I said. I give this 10 philosophers <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, any last thoughts? Get played. <laughs> just kidding. I'm uh, just saying, if they made a Wonder Twins and. <laughs> crypto on the show i would go to vancouver and i would pick it my ass off until i get a spin-off of them to uh, all three of them nice. on their own show nice with their with the get up that they have in the comic yeah <laughs> <laughs> do you know what they look like no wonder twin oh my god look at them right let's, let's, let's get jeremy's reaction of seeing them first go go google what do they have I'm, blue I'm suits look, no they have no purple suits they look like martians look they're monkeys <laughs> And wow! Some you don't remember that from Super Friends. Yes, very familiar. They turn into. I didn't water. know this was Super. Friends. She turns into water, right? And then the they're the, on oh, no. the the girl. The dude turns into water. He turns in. Uh, she turns into animals. Oh yeah, they're on uh, Teen Titans. Yes, that's why. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, uh, yeah, they're also. On I have a faint there. reminder of these these types. Yeah, these two right here, but the. Yeah, another power spot. Bear, Bear, uh, Bears is lobbying for a nice a crypto and wonder twin spinoff. Uh, Berlanti, get on it! <laughs> You're damn right, I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, I I actually wouldn't have a problem with it. I just think that it would be like those shows that you would watch on a Saturday morning, and just be happy to be watching it. Mm. They have yeah, fifty two version. What? Yeah, they look crazy. I think they they both look like girls. They look more alien like. Yeah, so I think with that being said, you guys, go leave your like down below if you guys enjoyed the video. I forgot to say that for Supergirl yesterday, so go ahead and like that video as well. I right, comment your thoughts about Paradox and what your theories are for the next episode. Uh, ticked form of and a shape of checking out my channel. <laughs> he just Cody, he wants the one to <laughs> Where we do Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> That's pretty freaking awesome. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one killed me. Be sure to check out our creator's co as well as social links down below. And we'll see you guys. <laughs> we'll see you guys. <laughs> Bye!